pray for us. We made it, boys. There she is, Dad. There she is in all her glory. I really hadn't seen her until we actually came in here today to show the Drift Games guys the car. And I'm like, well, it doesn't look too bad. I was thinking in my head like more stuff was broken, but it actually looks pretty decent. I'm surprised Besides side the skirt. fenders. Yeah, the side skirts and the lip, yeah, I'm troopers. surprised it lasted. Troopers, for sure. You're bored but honestly, the fenders, that didn't even yeah. happen until the last hour of the last day. Like, everything else was glorious. We just gotta get a front sway bar on it. Yeah, so this fender here was because there were huge drop-offs. The drop-offs were in the in, like in the corner where they actually had the rumble strips. Oh, I saw the So if, if you were trying to aim for the rumble strip, it means you were gonna hit them. So I saw a wheel, like broken wheel, like the damage was that. But it's holding there. That's what really matters. Can you believe it's holding there? That's crazy. We're like literally three, four inches missing out of that. But what was the damage? It was that wheel. The uh, diffuser extension piece. Oh yeah, I got, a, I got a video of this thing dangling, wow, like yeah. going like this. Uh -huh. piece actually looked like it was broken but what happened is the track it collected so much dirt because it's like a scoop that all the weight of it it just kept dangling lower is and lower and lower as it that? yeah the thing has like six pounds of dirt in it right now just full of yeah, so we were like that thing is gonna fall off why is it flopping like that I overall it looks pretty good it looks a lot better than jordan's did after first drift week i'll tell you that much and this this i don't know man this it this was only because of the bank all it survived the flat tracks but as soon as we got to um, uh, to adams then i started hitting this every time i would go on the little bank and the right side was only after i what was it the last 30 minutes that yeah, i hit the rumble like, strip and then it's crazy the last 30 minutes of drift week that overall the car apart from blowing the motor is a phenomenal car to drive it's really easy to drive Next thing that I'll probably end up doing is doing some custom bucket seats just to match the color. Who suggested that? One of you two guys? You. Yeah. Because I don't want to just put some black seats in here. I want to kind of make it still street nice and drift well and the whole thing and not like go overboard with it until it blows up like a couple more times and then what we're going to throw in, in here, Jay-Z. You know, put a Jay-Z in it. Mm -hmm. That's the way to do it. But I thought you were right yes now, LS though. So. I mean, I'm all for LS, but he's not. So at least let yeah. me put something in it. How did you feel like as a passenger in this car? Awesome. You. I loved and it. You. I mean, it's awesome. It has a whole lot of forward bite. We got to find a way to dial a little bit more side bite into it because it just kind of floats when you're on and off throttle when you're like in drift. But as you transition, like if you're chasing somebody, when you hit that crossover point, if they have less like forward bite than you do, so you're kind of floating and trying to gain ground. And then as soon as you start to transition, the car just jumps towards the rear bumper. So we got to find a way to balance it out, maybe add some toe in, kind of play with the rear suspension. We didn't want to do too much during drift week we because we were worried about driving on the street and if we change something and we don't have access to alignment rack. Because this isn't like a regular BMW rear suspension where it's just two control arms and a trailing arm. This is some crazy like five link independent rear suspension. So we got to figure out how to make this thing a little bit more grippy. And we also I know how to do it. Yeah. What? Just let us sit in the back seat. No, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna put just Cricket in the back for the roller coaster so he can slide back to back. But overall, the car is a beast. I mean, Jordan beat the crap out of his car nonstop, and the things that he broke were very minor. I mean, suspension wise, I hope that the arms last. I'm not really sure why he kept ripping out the arms and the whole thing, maybe because of, he went off too many times. He went off a few times, yeah. and he was also running the R's on like 20 PSI. Yeah, which is wild, wild, man. Yeah. But. 
He's a very committed driver. I'll give him that. Running those things on 20 PSI and not straightening out, those yeah. things are beast. One thing that I'll definitely do is not run such an aggressive, sticky tire in the front. I think that these were also creating a little bit of too much grip on the front. I mean, one, two, threes on the front for a car that's not 100% on kill mode is a bit too much. So I'll just throw some 300 tread wears in the front instead of these beefy boys. A part, like the car is just a phenomenal car. The boys did an incredible job. Jordan, like, absolutely killed it. If you guys need anything or you're thinking about doing an FADM3, go follow RK Tunes on YouTube, on Instagram, on anything. Because even though Chris and Cricket absolutely killed and putting everything back together, and Donnie there too, but he really knows about these motors. Like, we couldn't have done it without him. Now Chris learned it. But absolutely go follow that man. If you ever think of doing anything, he knows about the diff locks. He knows about everything that could break, everything to make it better, everything to actually drift. So we're thankful for him with all coming, giving us all the insight. And now we just, we can take into the future and get more of these out there, get the M2s as well. It, do, do you know this thing weighs as much as an M2? 3,650 pounds, which is only two, 300 pounds more than the E46. But the power band 500 torque, 500 wheel makes up for the difference in weight. Like you can be three times faster than that car. It could go, like one thing that I did notice about these is that you can drive with slow cars and fast cars and it would still be comparable. That car, it's kind of like you can't really drive it well on big tracks as well as you can this one and go like from small to big tracks, small car low power high power i think this thing is is the future yeah, right here amazing too yep. the way that you could run second pretty much most tracks like you never really had to get stuck on the top of a gear or at the bottom of a gear and it's amazing how much torque this thing makes down low too like you can be all the way down like 1800 wow. rpms and you get back on the throttle and the thing just lights the tires up there's no lag on this thing at all with the stock twins definitely if you're thinking about it this is a time to move on these skip the e92 m3 garbage and jump on one of these yeah, yeah. And, we'll help and it's super it. comfortable. I got to drive this thing two and a half hours after we um, had rebuilt the motor. And man, I tell you, the seats, the air conditioning in the seats, the sound system he put in this thing, it is beautiful. Great car to drive on the road. And with the Wise Fab, it was just self steering the entire time. It's like you could just let go of the wheel on the highway with all that caster, it would just trail straight the whole time. You can still get these for twenty-five to thirty-five thousand. Rebuild and title. Have, huh? Rebuild title, obviously. But you can get them either crashed. A coal part anywhere between twenty and twenty-five thousand. Rebuild it yourself, fix the damage or not fix the damage, and just beat the crap out of the car because the engine is what's really expensive in these. Or you can just get yourself something like I did, rebuilt. It was thirty-four thousand for this one, and add all the the go fast drift parts or whatever you want to add to them, and just go have fun. They're not like I was telling the drift game guys today, like this car. These are coming up so fast in price right now. They're yeah. like fifteen you to twenty-five thousand. Trade one of those for one of those. You They're going for almost, thirty grand. You can almost do that. And you saw a drift week. Somebody else offered us one for twenty-seven yep. with light damage on the back that could be easy repairable. So we're oh, gonna add more damage anyway. So yeah. I did get like probably over fifteen DMs of just people wanting to build these. So it's just showing that it can be driven. It can be driven hard. Obviously, my situation was a little different with it blowing up, but it's it's still like you can blow up an LS, you can blow up right you can blow anything, up anything, anything. You can blow up like Jay Z showed up and blew up like one after another. So it's just who knows what the combination that caused it to blow up. But we know that if it's fixed, if it's done right, and they are not too expensive to actually build the whole motor. Yeah, as long surprised. as you know like what you're doing, you just throw in pistons in there and do rods, pistons bearings and stuff and put the car back together like you don't need to do valves you don't need to do even retainers he said like anywhere like below 600 horsepower you don't need to do anything on the top slap it back together so they're gonna come out there like the people want to try new chassis they want to try new builds and i would not put twenty thousand dollars into something like that to start drifting i would already start in something that makes 500 horsepower because to get that car with the same power as this you're gonna spend freaking oh, fifteen thousand bucks just for you to get to here yeah. so that's what i'm trying to compare obviously it's an expensive car to drift some people dream of just having these cars for the street myself as well i never thought i would have something like this but it's definitely 
a dream come true, and it's a, I could say it's still a reliable car. Oh, yeah, you could, take, you could have drove this thing back from California yeah. if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I'm glad you didn't, but, you know. yeah. So, yeah, if you need help in building one, again, check our K Tunes out, check our site. We have all the parts that will make this car into a drift car. So, yeah, basically, what he's saying, in that. the words of Savio, go out and get yours. Yeah, get you get one of yours. these. That's it. Go get yours. Yeah. Like, like a guy everybody, everybody. I'm the only one with a weapon. How do you guys like I'm the compound so far? Mind blowing. Yeah, it's like you guys never left. Like, you know, we just like took like two days break and then, then hey, they, there you are. It's crazy. I think the space is what blows me away. You know, just having so much space to stand back and see things. Like it, normally when we go to people like, oh, I've got 20 cars wing mirror to wing mirror, yeah. like crushed together. And you're like- You're not a huge parking lot like this out here either. Yeah. No, but this is kind of like what you'd be looking at, you know? And then this, you got space to stand back and actually like take it in to admire a car. Because most of the stuff we have is like crushed in a corner and you're like, yeah, let's take the sheet off and see. So, no, it's wild. <laughs> what do you think, Video God? What do I think? What do you think? It's pretty crazy. It's uh, a lot different to anything that we have back home anyways. You getting good footages with that? Got all the footage on this. At least 4,000 So what screws. cars did you guys like the most? Three cars each. Three cars each. Um, I would probably say the R34 GTR in there, yeah. the 911 Turbo. Yeah. And I would probably go for your E46, the, right, the right. show car one. I was hoping. Okay, I got one, one in at least. The gold one? Okay. The gold one. Oh, yeah, he the loved that one. He, he's all stance. Yeah. 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 I already get that if he dies. That's yeah. in the will. I get the gold car. No, yeah. You get Blue Thunder. No, I get Blue Thunder. No, I, no, I get Mona. I'll just, <laughs> That's right. You get Mona, I get the gold <laughs> car. You guys, you guys will in front of me. I was going to kill me. They're already planning this out, Josh. You want some alligators? I don't know. I like the 15 drift car. Oh, did you see? You should say like you know what? We we, we skip past that. I'm I'm gonna say that, and then I still think um, I think Savio's 14. I like All the right. I like All the right. gussets. My guy, yeah, there's yeah, a lot yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of them. gussets. I'm, I I appreciate good. You know what I appreciate more than gussets? Unnecessary gussets. Yeah. There's 169 of them. You never need that many. Well, that's the thing. Like you don't even need any. But I mean. Yeah, you, listen. Man. A lot cooler. You do though. <laughs> exactly. And I appreciate the different size gussets as well. Yeah. Like. That's not, I know dimple dyes aren't cheap. Ready to eat at the general store? I would say yes. <laughs> yeah, I hear it's very general. Yeah. Just a general they amount They have of generally everything there. Generally. Let me get in there. Let me get in there. Drift Games guys is giving us stuff and things. You guys are allowed here anytime. Drift Games is stuff and things? Stuff and things. Oh, oh I need screen. Stickers. Look at this nice screen. Oh, mm, one of those guys. Yeah. Oh. Their stuff is super cool. Looks right? Sick. Drift awesome. Games. Steve. Killing it. Mm. It has so many air fresheners. I don't know what you call it here in the States, but we call it a bribe. <laughs> <laughs> They're bribing us? Thank you guys so much for all your help. Appreciate and you've been it, so hospitable and yes, lovely. You. And we now have to leave this warm, beautiful place and go to a cold. Your miserable weather, buddy. Yeah, that's where we're heading. <laughs> all right. So, you know, What's say goodbye that? to t-shirts. <laughs> Where's Josh? We'll see you guys soon. See you on the next time. And uh, don't work too hard without us. Where's Josh, though? Goodbye. It was great having you, bro. Saying goodbye to you. Are we all going of us. now? All of us. You're leaving. Bye. Oh, goodbye. Thank Bye. you for having us, or may I say, putting up with us. That's great, dude. Look at the little dog. That's my baby. Aww, Is give him a kiss. Saying goodbye, you gotta right? give him a kiss on the cheek. <sighs> We're I not even French. Say goodbye in LA and now bye again is too much. Well, LA was like, hey, I'll see you in a couple days. Yeah, that wasn't every Well, hey, I'll we'll see you in a couple weeks. We'll be in Ireland if there's no more, you know. We yeah, can't talk about it. The thing we do not speak about, or else something will pop up on the yeah, bottom of here. So the drift games guys are gone. They're gone. We still Sad got. Times. We still got all this stuff to install onto the C6 Corvette. 
a lot to do this week. Prep for we got to prep the vet, prep the BMW, prep the Genesis. Wait, wait, wait. And prep so you're talking about we need to prep cars as we're building for a our car. For competitors, man. For our, how how fair is that? We're getting a prize and we had to prep the cars for our competition. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen the LZ Invitational. It's going on in two weeks. We have yeah. cars to build, cars to finish. We still have tutorials. We're going to show you how to install FDF angle Fast. kit on there, dual calipers, line kit, a bunch of stuff. So stay tuned for the next video. I think Adam's going to do a burnout in the E46, so I think I'll just end the video with that. Why clean the windshield? He doesn't need to see. He doesn't. <laughs> just makes the video look better. So wait, he's gonna try to do a burnout in another E46. They're Don't both say it like that. They're both silver. Oh yeah, I predicted it last time. No! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> so don't say those things. This is a very, very reliable car. Yeah, it survived all of Drift Week and survived Josh from Drift Games. Hi Mike. Hi Joel. How are you? Good. What are we doing? It's a little burnout. Yeah? Ten year video. Gotta Sweet. do gotta do a cameo. Yeah, that thing. Yeah. Should I tell our um, subscribers that like, you know, put a link there like, hey, look, yeah. Cameo. Yeah. I don't know how it Hit works. Basically, you click the link, you go to the description, go on there, you tell Adam to say whatever the hell you want, and then he says it and does a burnout for you. He wastes his tires for your Cameo. Doesn't waste the tires. He makes a cool freaking video. But Heck yeah, dude. Yeah, it's cool. Are you really putting on a seatbelt to do a burnout? You never know what could happen. <laughs> Oh, my God.